Hello my friends, it's Sonia here and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be decorating my chair trays for Christmas and one for my family room and one for the kitchen. I am so excited to share these tear tray decorating ideas with you and take you along with me as I decorate them. I also want to mention that today's video is part of a collaboration that I am hosting. So there will be a playlist because I have invited some of my very talented friends to join me. And we are all sharing our tear trays, some are even creating some DIYs. So make sure you head on over and check the playlist out after you're done watching my video. So the first tray that I'm going to be working on is this tear tray. Uh, is a three tier tray that came from Home Depot. I will probably decorate two more trays for the season and I have already shared one if you watched my hot cocoa bar video then you already saw it but if not it will be linked down below. So a lot of the items that I do use on these trays are DIY items especially for this one more than the, the other one and I will let you know if uh, I had purchased anything and where it came from. So the little red bucket, a little red truck bucket that I have just added is a candle holder and uh, it had come from a little store called Dublin Mercantile. I think they have a website but they are local, not too far from me and I am, I absolutely love the store and all the things that it has. And I fell in love with this little bucket jar or whatever you want to call it. I don't necessarily love the candle. It is a little bit too sweet for me, but I absolutely love the way the jar bucket thingy looks. So I wanted to use it here. I have added these topiary trees, which you will see shortly once I lift up the camera. Uh, they are my DIYs but they were falling off of the top so I decided to add a little bit of sticky tack to the bottom of them so that way they stay in place. Just a little trick to make things stay in place. The little greenery thing that's beside them, like almost looks like a little Christmas tree, uh, came from Home Sense, as well as the little red truck that I will be adding here, it came from Home Sense as well. A lot of the green, like a lot of the berry picks and other uh, type of florals that I'm using are things that odds and ends from other florals maybe that fell off or I took apart for DIYs. I always keep all the little extras because they're great for decorating the trays. I wish for 
The little garland that I'm adding is a little DIY that I created several years back and it's just a non-edible ornament DIY. Uh, I made a couple ornaments as well as this garland and it still smells very much like cinnamon. Whenever I decorate tier trays or trays in general, even even a lot of like my mantles and things like that, um, I play around. I move things around. I take things off, change things out until I am happy with the way something looks. Um, there is nothing wrong with that. I think uh, you know it, you gotta move stuff around until you're happy happy with it it's just uh, to me that's just the way the decor decorating works um, I I rarely ever um, plan out how something will look even if uh, I see an inspiration and then I put that inspiration into action sometimes it just does not work for me and I end up changing it around anyways until like I said I'm happy with it so don't be afraid of decorating anything just play around with it until you're happy with the way something looks and sometimes i'll go back even a couple days later because something is bugging me on it and i will change it out The little green and red bells that I've added, I cannot remember whether they came from Dollar Tree or Dollarama or where exactly they came from. I, I think I got them last year, but I'm not 100% sure about that either. 
I did struggle a little bit with the back of this tray um, because the way it's positioned in my family room you are not able you can see three sides of it so I wanted the back to have somewhat of a decor so in case if somebody glances at the back they can it looks nice so I decided after a couple tries to add a garland that I had on hand kind of uh, the garland came from Dollarama and I just um, made it fit I folded it and scrunched it up so it fits nicely at the back I think this tray turned out really, really nice. I think it looks perfect in my family room. And if you want to see how this tray looks in my family room, make sure you head on over to my Christmas Decorate With Me family room because it's already there and you can see it in action. While an old man sings all holy night Yeah, the streets might be full But I'm empty inside Merry Christmas, babe Wish you were mine When you're not here to walk with me Which makes it all seem great So tell me tonight Won't you come home? Next tray that I'm going to be working on is a two-tier tray that came from Amazon and I will be decorating it in a gingerbread theme because that is the theme that's in my kitchen and most of the stuff that I am decorating it with came from uh, a thrift store with a several, uh, with, I think there might be one DIY in there and then one item from Dollarama as far as I can remember. But my kitchen is in a gingerbread theme, so uh, naturally I wanted the tear tray to have the same theme. I'm also going to be adding some gingerbread ornaments, and those came from Michael's.
If you have not seen my kitchen decorate with me video, make sure you head on over. It will be linked in the description box as well as in the at the end of the video. If you've been watching me for a while, you know how many tear trays I have. Um, it These two are like my main bought tear trays that I have. And they're not very easy to find here. Um, even on Amazon, it's slim pickings. I did notice that there's a bit more than what it used to be. But sometimes I feel like I need to see it before I buy it because some of them are not tall enough or too tall in between so it's just best that I actually see it so buying them online is not something that I go for but I do have several DIY tear trays that I made myself the one at the hot cocos bar is and then I will be like I mentioned decorating several more but you will just have to come back for the home tour to see the rest of them Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for Christmas. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here. I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine. But I've been waiting for the season that's mine. So let it come. Yeah, let it come. Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call. They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling, now it's time for... Okay, my friends, that is going to be it for today's Tear Tray Decorate With Me video. I love the way they both turned out, especially this gingerbread one. I just love the gingerbread theme so, so much, and I think this one is perfect for my kitchen, and it ties that decor so well together. 
So if you have enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Make sure you check out that playlist down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here. Let's sing a carol.